Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, what it do, what it be. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Um, we're just gonna get some New York action and we're going to Battlefield. New York, New York classic Battlefield. And just ooh, getting into this game already, kind of going for a little bit. Wow. Ooh. I grab active. That's so crazy. <laughs> we're kinda just like seeing, you know. A little bit of the neutral. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm noticing the rise of Palutena today. As uh, we seen earlier today, Jen popped off against Zombo. Period. Three stock. Crazy game. <laughs> it's good to have Jen back. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And we're just getting a lot more of the, you know, Xeno classics for you guys today. And just the nice Nair train into juggle type situation. We're kind of seeing it a mm. little bit hard Chase. for, you know, Sinji to land right now. And we're just getting ledge trapped. Period. And that was such a good up B right there. Kind of just threw, you know, Sinji out of the loop. Keep him blocking so he doesn't get all those charges. Throw off his timing. <laughs> Absolutely. And I kind of love the way that, you know, um, our Utopian Ray is kind of just approaching this matchup. Like, you know, we're kind of just seeing, like, a bit of scrapping, but also. <gasps> oh, no, they were right outside the range. They still got. Oh, my God. He's like, it didn't even hit him at first. That was weird. <laughs> it didn't, but then I think it's because he shielded and then he kind of slightly shifted his heart box. Oh, uh, yeah. Enough to the range that that actually hit, and that was absolutely crazy. The little things. <laughs> that was looking so well for Utopian Ray, and then it just got immediately switched out of their favor. And now we're just seeing a little bit of just, you know, Pac Man doing what Pac Man does, especially when Pac Man's in the lead. We're seeing <laughs> Pac Man just absolutely use his tools to the best advantage, just trying to juggle Ray and make it so that Ray is going to get annoyed <gasps> oh. by all of these options. And look at this. If only they had a fruit charge, they would have got the kill right there, too. And that's so crazy. Look, Sinji's looking like he's, oh, he's about a lap Utopian Ray in person. Oh, the back oh air. Sinji's so nice with it. Look at this. So smooth. Let's set up. What's, what, what's the crazy stuff you're gonna do today, Sinji? That's so crazy. But I also really like the like the stage choice as well because it actually oh, provides no. a lot more, you know, like you know, disadvantageous um, routes that you know um, Utopian Ray can actually use to get back to center stage. But right now, it's looking a little bit scary. Oh, okay, good. That was from Ray, so but you saw how he used that. Yeah, that was smart. That was Using so good. That's so crazy. That is that is a way to escape Thank that. You. Um. But for sure, um, looking at this, it's it's looking so bad. Oh yeah. For oh my god. Yeah, Ray losing that lead was kind of important because when Sinji ever takes the lead, it's just like they, they get one little combo and they just run away with the whole stock. That's honestly they looking. Don't like, look at this. What what can Ray do? What Waste do you four more minutes. <laughs> oh, I mean, dang. <laughs> and you know the thing uh, is, kill. Period. Yes. I was about to say. He has he has bell in hand. What is he gonna do? And he's gonna kill. And now we're on even socks, but not even for a sense. And this can literally be flipped right back to you know it's. <gasps> Duke. <laughs> that was so goofy. Oh my god, that was literally just everything. And Ray is looking so scared right now. Like, what can Ray do? N up, get up there. No. Control. They gotta they gotta bring that fire that they had in the first stock back. Honestly, so away with so much right now. And it's just like, what can, you know, Ray do other than just like take all this damage he's being given? Yeah. And SD, he was not, he was not for it. He was not for that game. That's it. Mm -mm. Me? Pac-Man? Sometimes game? you just gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta leave. <laughs> if, you, if you don't like it, just leave. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what he did. He left the whole venue. <laughs> like, he just said, I'm gonna go. Um, it's like, I don't need this. <laughs> like, I need this my energy. My mental health, it, it's sacred. It's more important <laughs> than this match. Oh, absolutely. But we're just going to get into this next game, going right back to Battlefield, and just, you know, trying to kind of get a better game than they did have that first, you know, ugly, you know, game. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Utopia is like, this stuff is freaking nasty. Yeah. Literally, I just stepped in some poop in freaking New York City. Like, I saw a dead rat. Like, I had to go. And it all but, happened after they were having a nice day, too. They were like, oh, it's so pretty and sunny outside. And then they stepped in poop, and then it's all right. <laughs> like, literally, actually, I saw a dead rat, so that's why I kind of said that Ooh. today. I was, I was a little bit scared. Oh, oh okay. That, that kind of, you know, went to the beat. You heard, you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since you'd be playing some, some Rhythm Heaven I don't know. spare he, time right there. He had to step to the beat, but getting into step this mania. game. Yes, for sure. We have only 64% on Sinji. 
Oh, back air. Gonna kill near the ledge. I don't know. Ray was looking really good that first game, and I think it is the mental damage that's doing to him right now because Battlefield, I definitely wouldn't mind, you know, Battlefield just up applying a lot more situations for, um, you know, Ray to actually get out of the corner while also still being able to put a lot of damage back onto Sinji. But it's looking like it's not really too much of the case right now because right now Sinji's doing Sinji things. He does, yeah, yeah. If he does not want to approach, he's absolutely not going to. What does, what does Sinji look like approaching to you? I think a big... As weird as it sounds like, I think a big nerf to Pac-Man would be just to take away how floaty the character is because I think one of the main reasons, like, why people find this matchup so annoying is how when they go to, like for pressure against this character they're just like oh look I overshot and I, I kind of can't touch him and then he just throws a hydrant at you <laughs> I mean for sure but we're kind of just seeing hydrant not really being a thing oh. because look at how many times Ray just completely ignores you know hydrant it's honestly not even just a tool that you know Sinji's using at this point Ooh. it's kind of like a defensive option we're gonna be completely honest it really is like look at this. What is what is what is he supposed to be doing? Other than just like <laughs> if they don't press have, the B button. Yeah, if they don't have like the time to hurry up and run up in, into the hydrant and then hit some buttons on it, then they're gonna get caught by Pac-Man who's just standing there charging and waiting for you to do something. Oh. Oh. Take it from them. Oh, okay, Take that was very nice. What I really feel like, you know, Utopian Rain needs to kind of like really implement is both what he's doing right now, just trying to like yes, force Sinji to not really play the game that he's playing. Because right now, what he wants is that he wants to stand behind Hydrant and actually just like get a few of his, you know, fruit. But he can't really do that if, you know, every time he has to stop charging his fruit because it's getting, you know, like he has to worry about, you know, um, explosive flame, you know. Um, auto radical, like all those things kind of just stop him from, you know, setting up the way he wants to. And even if he does, what is he going to do? Because he's not even in range. <laughs> Again, in range is the hard part. Sinji is, uh, either, he, Sinji is reacting to everything that Ray is doing right now, offensively, or are they just having, like, like a ball on offense. Whenever they go in with that dash attack, they LP up, make the Ray their way, like, right out of it. Have a hydrant on the background, just to make sure that they can't chase him. I also, As even they run into the Hydra and they're like, oh no. And I also really love that, you know, pressure that Utopian Ray was trying to have there Ooh. on the ledge. I mean, on the platform, sorry, but this is kind of like the thing that, you know, like, Pac-Man has so many good defensive tools to use his advantage. And it's just like, you can't even, like, do anything. Like, he, he was there, um, Utopian oh, yeah. Ray was there until, like, 209%. It definitely feels like that. I mean, he was! Like, <laughs> it's just that, like, you know... Sinji's like very good at making you think that like it's like over because you're at 209% but I honestly really feel like that's exactly where you know Pac-Man's cutoff is he knows that he can't kill so he's <laughs> just going to camp you out until he can get the kill but for very, sure. it looks like a very non-committal dash attack because like, I feel like Sinji's getting away with it a lot <laughs> Back. I mean, oh. it is really super safe, so like sometimes you can kind of just throw it there but not really commit to like a full heart, like, you know, approach option since most of the time it's safe enough to like not really like do too much. So you need like power tenor buttons just to stuff it out. That's why that back air was so helpful in doing so, but this is still a reaction test, so you can't do it all the time. Oh! Nice Ooh. chase there. Can they come? Okay, cool. <laughs> I get so scared whenever people go for that. I'm like, oh, can you make it back? <laughs> Palutena, what am I worried about? <laughs> I mean, you would be surprised by the amount yeah. of times Palutena can't actually make it back. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, there was a few times where we actually wanted to see, you know, Topian and Ray get that fruit, but it's just, it looks like he's been struggling a little bit actually trying to, like, hit that. Ooh. And that Bell trying to set up for a kill here. Sinji holding this down. Two minutes left on the clock. Can Utopia Ray turn this around? It's so crazy. We've almost been here for like seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like. <Clock is> ticking. <laughs> what do we do now? Do we oh, just yes, like? Punish this. Do we just wait for uh, you know Sinji to get like punished? That was. That was so convenient <laughs> for Sinji because that, that's that little two piece right there they got from that wall that the uh, that the hydrant built right there. That was that was insane. Ooh, okay, just trying to get off ledge here. Get and away. That's so crazy because oh. the last time he did that, he just nearly got hit by it. Dash attack. <gasps> oh, chase him with the back air. Sinji takes the set to oh, moving on. Fist bump. That's crazy. That's crazy.
What, what, Ray was getting in there too. Yeah. I don't know. It, it might just be the Pac-Man tings. <laughs> the tings. Yes, the little the, tings that happen the, in the matchup. The Pac-Man tings. You, you can't lie about the Pac-Man tings because the Pac-Man tings be getting y'all ja messed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the main Pac-Man ting that uh, Ray was not dealing with too well was that dash attack. It, 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 gave some, it, it gave Sinji so much mileage in that matchup right there. They were getting away with a lot. They were safe majority of the time. They yeah. reacted accordingly to whatever... Ray was going to do out of shield, and they got to move on bracket today, so we're going to move on to our next match.